negative press that links the sun to skin cancer, there really is a lack of evidence that supports that. And what studies show is that those that are vulnerable to malignant melanoma are not those with the greatest cumulative solar exposure. And that other studies show that those that um, are likely to get melanoma are those that work inside. And that uh, adults and children that work and play outside are less likely to get melanoma. And that those that live closer to the equator are less likely to get melanoma. And that melanoma, the skin lesions, they normally develop on areas of the skin that are not normally exposed to sunlight. In a 1986 Australian study, it showed that there's no correlation between sun, the sun and melanoma, and that actually melanoma incidence was reduced by 25 to 40 percent with increased recreational sun exposure. In his book, The Sun and the Epidemic of Melanoma, Myth on Myth, Dr. Ackerman, who was um, a founding father in the field of dermatopathology, basically a big shot in that world, <laughs> he substantiated that there's no proof whatsoever that the sun is related to melanoma. There's also a 1982 study by Dr. Helen Shaw that was published in the medical journal The Lancet, and it showed that indoor workers that are exposed to artificial fluorescent lighting and have minimal sun exposure are twice as likely to get to develop melanoma than those that work outdoors. And this is back in 1982 when, when we weren't, you know, most of the workforce was not staring at the glare of a computer screen all day. So it really is lack of sunlight and our culture's lack of vitamin D3 that seems to be overwhelmingly linked to cancer. And that other studies are showing that appropriate sun exposure actually prevents skin cancer. And that incidences of melanoma increase with, um, sorry, decrease with sun exposure and what increases it is sunscreen. And that's another category where we have lack of evidence that sunscreen prevents skin cancer. Even sunscreen execs admit that they don't think it prevents sun cancer either. What sunscreen does is it does prevent sunburn. So let's go into how it prevents sunburn. Um, sunscreen uh, blocks UVB rays. And that's the, the ray that creates the sunburn. So our skin absorbs the sunscreen chemicals, and then this prevents the sun, the UVB rays from manifesting a sunburn. But what it's doing is it's basically anesthetizing our skin and disabling our skin's early warning protection against um, sunburn. It's because it's taking that, that sunburn away. And what the sunburn's supposed to do is say, hey, you've been in the sun a bit long. Let's Back up, let's get out of there, seek, seek some shade. What sunscreen also does is it separates UVA rays from its ultraviolet partner UVB. And current studies show that it's actually isolated UVA rays that cause more skin damage. And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> what the sunscreen's doing is it's blocking our vitamin D production, because it's UVB rays that create vitamin D. So it's blocking vitamin D but through blocking the UVB ray, and it's allowing the penetration of isolated UVA rays. And if that wasn't enough, then what we've got is that we're baking these carcinogenic free radical ingredients into our skin. Ingredients like oxybenzone, which is one of the most, which is the main um, active ingredient in sunscreens right now, it's a powerful free radical generator, and it is anti-carcinogenic until it is exposed to sunlight. I, know, I don't know who thinks of these things. <laughs> so sunscreens are promoted to preserve our skin and to prevent wrinkles and aging, but what happens is they're altering the innate intelligence of our cells. They're um, encouraging the, 
carcinoma by doing this and damaging DNA, and then also because they're synthetic ingredients, they're seen as free radical agents that can accumulate in our lipid layers, and then we've got the extra thing of accumulating xenoestrogens, and they oxidize our amino acids. So they're not really, uh, they are making, a, they are preventing the sunburn. But this is really interesting too, because we do want to avoid sunburns, but sunburns are actually easier for our DNA to process than the cell damage of being in the sun with sunscreens. So I'm gonna repeat that. <laughs> sunburns are actually easier for our DNA to process than dealing with the sun damage of being in the sun with sunscreens. <laughs>